In this project, you will make learning stick by creating a video that connects a transformative learning experience with a modern learning theory. Enduring learning is learning that goes beyond the classroom and remains with the learner across their lifetime. It results from contextualized, real-world connections and is formed from high levels of interaction, discussion, inquiry, information sharing, and academic engagement. Modern cognitive research has demonstrated a range of successful strategies that promote enduring learning. Elaboration includes synthesis of ideas into your own words while making those ideas concrete and personal and connecting them to a wider context. Being generative requires that we work on solving problems before being shown the solution, and reflection involves regular review of our experiences to enhance their meaning and encourage insight. A learning mindset also promotes enduring learning, recognizing that no one is ever good at something without first being bad at it, accepting the reality of setbacks, trying new things, and seeing life and learning as an experiment with no wrong answers. You may know that events that are emotionally charged are remembered better than boring ones, and that pleasant events are usually remembered better than unpleasant ones. It turns out that positive memories contain more contextual details, which helps establish their place in long-term memory. In fact, research on autobiographical memories shows that positive memories contain more sensory and contextual details than neutral or negative memories. In this project, you will make learning stick by creating a video that connects a transformative learning experience with a modern learning theory. The goal is use personal reflections of past learning experiences to help you create enduring memories and insights about learning theory. You will have the chance to develop skills in script writing and video editing while supporting the development of enduring learning based on reflection, research, and real-world connections. This playlist will provide you with ideas and inspiration. What I imagine my most transformative learning experience will be like is like lava rising from the earth, splashing down on the hard surface. I like to think of learning within the constructionist point of view. You want to learn to build a house, but if you don't build the house yourself, did you learn to build the house? Can you create before you understand? I think the best learning experience that I've ever had is my work in the Robinson Lab. And with this comes the grit theory, which is working through obstacles and um, finding motivation when you're stuck in places where you just want to give up because it's so frustrating. Most people can navigate just about any setting with the help of a smartphone. Unfortunately, about an hour into my time in Boston, my phone quit on me. Died without explanation. I had an hour to catch a commuter rail out of Boston and no way of figuring out how to get there. I was like, no. I was like, this is my coat. It was like, it was like shut him up. It was like, shut him up. It's like, take off your coat, take off your coat. Over time, I began to view it as something that would help me grow and just help me become stronger, become a stronger man, a stronger person. To me, running is very beneficial. It's, it's a way to find peace after any race. If I still had some breath in me, I would think, oh, I could have used that for the race. <laughs> I honestly owe it to my dad because if he didn't push me to get up the hill, I don't think I would have the emotional strength to be able to do a lot of the things that I've done in my life so far. The Law of Effect summarizes how people observe the consequences of their actions and repeat the actions that evoke positive effects. When I performed a maneuver well, the boat went faster and sailed more smoothly. When I messed up, the boat slowed down, turned up into the wind, or even capsized. The learner plays the role of the information constructor and uses their prior knowledge as a link to the new information. Each student brought their past experiences to the creation of their hoppers. Although the motivation to get hundreds and to be perfect hasn't left me yet, I have more reasons now than a hundred or my mother's pride to learn. Going from living in Texas from, and being surrounded by people who I'd been surrounded by for a very long time to coming over here to Connecticut and not really knowing anyone, Intrinsic motivation is characterized by doing something for enjoyment, whereas with extrinsic motivation, 
a task is done for some sort of external reward. Well, at the Oxbow School, I got to focus fully on my passion for art, making it a clear choice for my most transformational learning experience. My love of photography catapulted me into a world of self-driven learning and exploration that continues to push me forward to this day. That world, of course, being technology. By using the internet to find a community of tutorial makers, as well as finding small tricks on my own, I've been able to improve my skills in video editing and content creation. The motivation theory studies the desires or wants that energize and direct goal-oriented behavior. The wants and desires that enable children to learn changes as you become an adult. He was always on his computer. He was always either making something, viewing something, creating. And I believe I took after that. In anchored learning, much of what you learn is from a, a coach, a mentor. One of the biggest learning experiences of my life has been learning through my family and learning about its culture through the foods that we cook together. Um, my dad was born and raised in the New Jersey town that I also grew up in, and my mom is Peruvian born, but she grew up all over the place. So you can see, I guess, how there's a lot of different mixes of foods 